And there's there's these places in our life that are just sticky, you know, where it's like, um, if, if somebody's really helped you out a lot, that you may feel really obligated to them. If they are your mom, you may feel obligated to them. If they are this person that you've always admired, and yet they're being an asshole, there may be all this stuff for you where you're like, but that's not what I thought you were, and you're just sticky around it. get these people in your life, whether it's your mom or your sister or your significant other or your person that you work with, that they just seem to have something, again, they have something that always triggers you. They have something that always draws you in. They have something that always like hits that button that you don't know how to change. Okay, so what do you do? One of the first few basic things that I do with anything is I destroy and uncreate all of the oaths, the vows, the swearings, the fealties, the commealties, and the commitments to that person between me and them in any lifetime, times a godzillion. And then I use the clearing statement, right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. I literally did this for each um, close person to me in my life for two weeks and then I was first starting access consciousness and this began to really change Something that had been I'd been dealing with for almost 35 years. So. The second thing I want you to look at is um, What is the point of view that you have that's creating the sticky so whether it's um, I'm obligated to them because what's the story that you've got around this sticky place? I'm obligated. I'm obligated to them because of blah blah blah. I um, I can't do that because I would never be able to say that because because anywhere you've got a because you've got a story So you just want to go. Okay, so all the stories creating the sticky I destroy and uncreate all that use the clearing statement, okay? Um, and the third thing is like what you want to start to look at like what do you desire to create with this person? So sometimes you have a person in your life That's a huge contribution that you just know you need to change some charge You've got charge on stuff and you need to change it The other possibility is that it's not actually a contribution to have this person in your life But you've kept them in your life because blah 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 So you want to start to look at so is it a contribution to have them in your life if so cool how can you begin to use that to your advantage? The way they function, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if not, what would you like to change? What is it, do you want them still texting you? Do you want them in your life all the time? You know, Do you need to change something that would actually change it for you based on the way you want your life to be? And if that helped, share this. And if you'd like to come join me, I'm gonna do one call um, on the topic to really get into your particular situation. What clearings could we run? What questions could we ask that would actually change the sticky between you and that other person? And the link will be above. I will see you there.